So, um, yeah, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. No, not you. <laughs> My cats are fighting. I don't know if you guys could hear that. <laughs> so, yes, I have changed my hair color it this color now some of you guys may like it some of you guys may not like it don't matter i like it it's on me it's hair it grows back so yeah this is my hair from now on but bad i'm trying to film can you drink your water some other time so uh yeah this is how i'm gonna look like for a while Anyways, this video is not about my or my fantabulous hair. <laughs> so I asked you guys on Instagram what video you guys wanted to see next. I decided we needed a break from all these saltwater fish, saltwater aquarium videos and just like show you guys something else. So I asked you guys on Instagram a turtle video or a goldfish video and you guys voted and the turtle video won. So that's what this video is about. You know, if the title wasn't already obvious. So today we're going to talk about turtles. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let you out. Okay, stop asking. <laughs> so you guys uh, apparently have lost track of all my animals. Because you guys really want to see an all my animals video. But that's not going to happen today because I have some animals that I have not yet introduced to you guys so I gotta introduce them before I refilm a all my pets video so that's not gonna happen right now but also you guys have apparently lost track of all my turtles I don't understand how like what <laughs> so today we are gonna get a look at each and every one of them but bet what are you biting on no don't eat that what in the world? She's eating freaking styrofoam. Babette. 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 She does not listen. Girl, you cannot eat styrofoam. Go. You ate all of it. Y'all, by the time I got here, it's like gone. <laughs> what are you eating now? What do you have down there? You weirdo. Stop eating stuff. And you already pooped. Okay. I'm gonna have to uh, mop this up before it hardens and becomes impossible to clean <laughs> so here is all of my turtles so i bring my turtles inside of the house during the winter months because you know it's too cold for them but now that winter is gone it's time to take them all out and fix up their enclosures so i decided to bring you guys along in the process so first up, we're gonna fix up little one's enclosure. So this is her enclosure after the winter. You know, it's a little abandoned because, you know, she wasn't in there, so I didn't really keep up with it. So this is what it looked like before winter. It was a lot nicer. This is it, like, now. This plant here just, like, gave up on me. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember this video. If you haven't yet seen it, you should totally check it out. This is a clip from the video where we set this up. And this is how the plants looked a few months ago. Like, it's crazy how much they grew here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clear up. I'm taking out not all the plants, but most of them. I like these right here. I think these look nice. So that's why I left them. I mean, they're not really taking away like space from her. So it's cool. I'm gonna leave them there. You guys can stay, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> I also decided to remodel her cave because little one has put on some size in these past few months so we gotta you know make the cave a little bit roomier and we gotta also like deep clean her mini pond here like it really just got disgusting over the winter so I take out the gravel and I use like a really old t-shirt to absorb all the water in there kind of like a ghetto mop so I found these cute mini gardening tools at the dollar store and they were really handy here so i mixed up some cement it's like a one part cement one part sand and then just water you guys will see what this is for in a bit so i'm taking my cute little gardening tools <laughs> and i'm loosening up the soil because i decided to take it out so that i could put a new one because you know like the plants in here really soaked up all the nutrients well not all of them like i could probably plant more plants 
plants in here and like they'll do fine as long as I fertilize them. I could add stuff to this soil and make it more nutrient rich but I'd rather just add new potting soil in here you know just kind of give this a reset and I mean I have like a whole bunch of it. Some of you guys may not know this but I'm really into gardening. I bought like six of these like 50 pound bags of potting soil <laughs> because I was doing some gardening. So, you know, I just decided to replace the soil here with some of that one. So I'm adding a good four, four and a half inches of soil in there. Okay, so now to the cave. You guys remember, we have to uh, make this taller, a little bit wider. So that's why I'm using the concrete, you know. I don't want this to accidentally collapse on little one. Like that would be like the worst thing in the world like like if I made a list of the five worst things that could happen in the world the first one would be little one's cave collapsing on her then it would be a zombie apocalypse <laughs> then world war three then an asteroid hits earth and finally it would be robots taking over like have you guys seen artificial intelligence nowadays like it could happen okay like uh it could happen <laughs> how are you hi there Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. Destroy humans. Destroy, destroy, destroy humans. I will destroy humans. So yeah, we don't want this cave collapsing. So we're gonna secure it down with some cement. I also wanted to give her like a proper side wall slash roof. I don't know, like she technically has a roof already, but that's kind of part of it. Last time I did this with kind of a mud mixture and that held up really good. But um, again, I want something more sturdier, more permanent. So we're gonna do it like this now. I'm using this like piece of tile and like a stick and like rocks and stuff to give the cement some support because like I said, we don't want this collapsing, okay? So I'm just placing the cement on top and, you know, kind of smoothing it out, making it all look like one piece. You know, like if it were a continuation of the rocks already in there. So I'm sprinkling some of this pine soil over the cement, you know, before it sets. So it kind of sticks to it, you know, like just I really hate the color of cement like I hate it so <laughs> next I'm just smoothing out everything and you know watering the soil so that the plants that we add in don't dry out <laughs> you know just preparing everything for the plants okay so really quick I'm not using all turtle safe plants because I have the pickiest this isn't even sarcasm like I literally have the pickiest turtle ever she won't touch anything green unless i trick her into it and she's never been like attracted to any flowers there's like zero probability of her ever taking a bite out of these plants so i'm not worried about it but i am gonna advise you guys to only use turtle safe plants in your like tortoise tables so here's all the plants i was really excited to add flowers in here i'm really into flowers this year i planted a bunch of flowers just everywhere so i wanted some and little ones enclosure i concentrated all the plants like in the edges so that little one has plenty of room in there to get some exercise and i mean i do let her out of her enclosure like she's not in here 24 7 3 6 to 5 i let her out to roam and stuff so she gets plenty of exercise and this is what it's looking like so far <laughs> and you can see the other turtles kitty pool and my plant wall wasn't done yet like i still hadn't gotten to it <laughs> back to the mini pond i'm adding the gravel back in I I washed it really really good as you can see I don't have a whole bunch of it in there I have just enough to cover the bottom and now to fill it back up and you can't forget the dechlorinator of course we don't want chlorine in the water so I feed little one in this piece of tile so I'm just uh, partially burying it in the substrate and finally here is little one so we call her little one on this channel okay but her name like she has an actual name her name's cleo anyways i'm giving her a really quick shell scrub i give all my turtles a good shell scrub every few months and you know of course it was time their shells were filthy like i don't even know how they do that like it takes talent to dirty something up so much and they're talented in that area so i'm taking a toothbrush preferably not a toothbrush that you're gonna use afterwards because you know like 
Ew, you're nasty if you do. Ew, like look at that. Look at how dirty that water is. Cleo, you're nasty. And of course, you can't forget about that underbelly. So in all seriousness, you should try and avoid flipping turtles upside down because like I know, I get it. Like they look kind of cute. But their lungs are located on top of their shells and then all their organs are under. So when you flip a turtle upside down, their organs are actually compressing on their lungs and they have a hard time breathing. And some turtles actually cannot turn themselves back over little one is one of those turtles as you can see you know sometimes I cheer for her like get it little one get it you could do it push like really lean onto it and nothing so yeah eventually I just feel bad for her flip her over myself <laughs> if you ever see a flipped turtle on the side of the road be a doll and help it flip itself back over <laughs> they will greatly appreciate it and you can even save their lives Cleo girl look at you you're clean now so you can go into your remodel enclosure what do you think do you like it i hope you do you got all this room now and look at these pretty flowers you guys look at her face she's so cute oh, oh my god of course she's already in her cave she loves her cave okay like she oh look she fits oh my god <laughs> So in her old cave, well it's this cave, but before we made it bigger, she couldn't turn around in it, like she could only go inside, and then she'd have to like put herself on reverse. Ribbit. 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 Yo, I'm so sleepy. Give me food, human. I must have food. Child, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> You found the camera. She found the camera, you guys. She's like, uh, this wasn't here before, human. What this? It smells weird. Ribbit. 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 What a cute toad. And of course, she found her mini pond right away. Like you guys. Every time I check up on her, she's either in her cave or here. She spends so much time in here. Like, I swear she probably thinks she's like a red ear slider or something. Like, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I know we could spend hours and hours just looking at little one. Yes, I agree. But, y'all, we gotta move on. So next up, we have my common snapping turtle, which is this one, and my alligator snapping turtle. So first I'm gonna show you guys this clip from an older video. In this tub, I have the alligator snapping turtle because the common snapping turtle was constantly bullying it. Apparently, this one's a little jerk with other turtles. So yes, I had them together and then I had to separate them because the common snapping turtle was being a jerk. But I accidentally figured out that it was because the common snapping turtle was a little bit food aggressive. So she was aggressive to the other one during feeding or when there was food around. So I started to only spot feed them and you know like long story short, I trained them to know when it's time to eat. So now they both know when they're gonna be fed, when there's gonna be food available. So it completely took away the food aggression. So they are back to being roommates. And it's not recent, it's been this way for months. And I mean, of course, if I see any problems, any reason for me to have to separate them, I am completely okay with it. I am completely prepared to do so. But for now, they're still together and they're doing great. And because they're still hatchlings, they're still living in this grow out container. You know, obviously when they get bigger, they will be going in a bigger enclosure. So they're gonna be going in this tub and another turtle will be going in this tub. I'll get to that in a bit. I'm setting both of them up at the same time, but you guys will see who goes in there. So I'm setting these up the same way that I set them up the first time. So these tubs were inside, you know, for the winter and they were in them and I'm just taking them out and I'm setting them up the same way. So I'm adding some wood here. Because they're not waterlogged, like they were out of the water for a few months, they are floating. So I decided to anchor them down with some rocks and I'm using this thin rope to secure the rocks. And it was kind of an eyesore to me. <laughs> so I covered that up with this pretty looking fake plant. Now I'm adding in the leaf litter. I've explained why I do this in past videos. And that's it, you know, I'm keeping it simple. I did pretty much the same thing on the other side. Like, despite the fact that the turtle's going in here and the turtle going in here, 
are completely different species and they're from completely different parts of the world um they surprisingly thrive in a very similar actually pretty much identical habitat that's really interesting so i didn't give the common snapping turtle and the alligator snapping turtle a shell scrub because i didn't think they needed it so i'm adding them straight up in there so that's the common snapping turtle and this is the alligator snapping turtle they're pretty similar like you'd probably get them confused if you didn't have one of each they're so slow like they were so chill i actually had a mini photo shoot with them here and took a bunch of pictures of them like this <laughs> and they still didn't move so you know I, I, I gave them a hand here and the turtle that goes in this tub is matilda the mata mata turtle so this is a mata mata turtle believe it or not this is a turtle <laughs> And y'all, her shell was definitely the dirtiest out of all the turtles. Like, Matilda, girl, you nasty. You know, just to demonstrate how dirty her shell was, I only scrubbed half of it so we could see the difference. And like, y'all, she looks like an Oreo. <laughs> she didn't like getting her shell scrubbed at first, but by the end of it, she's even twerking for us. <laughs> get it, Matilda, get it. Taste your fingertips. Well, this is the first time I see a turtle twerk. Oh wait, no, there was that other turtle that went viral. <laughs> and look at how pretty she looked afterwards. Like, girl, Matilda, who does your shell? <laughs> and here she goes into her grow out container. Let me just say this again. These are grow out containers. These are not the proper size for these turtles for their entire life. Okay? Okay. I feel like I had to clear that up. <laughs> so moving on to the turtles that live here in these tubs. Okay, so Penelope's first. You guys know Penelope. She's grumpy turtle. Like the grumpiest turtle in the world. <laughs> like I still love her, you know, she's my baby. But like, damn Penelope, chill. So just so you guys can get an idea of how much of a struggle it is to scrub her shell, I'm gonna show you guys the next few clips with the original audio. Enjoy. God damn. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, so that went on the whole entire time I scrubbed her shell. I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I've had her since she was a baby. I've handled her regularly. I've tried taming her lots and lots of times, but it's just really stressful on her. I've tried working with her, I've tried it all. It's just who she is, okay? And it doesn't bother me, so I let her be. And she's not always like this. It's like in certain times, in certain situations. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I have this like vicious turtle that just wants to bite my head off. There's good in her, there's kindness in there, like she has a sweet side. Yeah, like I'll have to show you guys that side of her in another video. <laughs> so now that she's squeaky clean, she goes here. So this is her section. So next up, we have Natasha. This is Natasha. She's actually Penelope's daughter. And she kind of has a little bit of Penelope's attitude, but not as much. Penelope is like a 10 on the grumpy scale, and Natasha here is more of a, a 4, a 5. <laughs> it's still in there, you know, but not always. So she is Penelope and Tito's daughter. Tito is the next turtle coming up that you guys are going to see. She's also one of three baby turtles that I hatched from an egg for the first time ever. So those were three baby turtles and she's one of them. So she's pretty special to me. And she lives here in this middle section. So she has her mom on the right and her dad on her left. And she's really chill as you can see. And then Tito here, this is Tito. He's my sweetie pie, he's my baby. He's like the turtle love of my life. Yeah, like he's really sweet. He's like the tamest of all my turtles. I even sleep with him at night sometimes. Like we're just 
that close. <laughs> so the fact that he's so tame and sweet makes up for Penelope's grumpiness. <laughs> so you know, I have an extra grumpy turtle. But to make up for that, the universe gave me Tito. So he makes up for Penelope's attitude. <laughs> like it balances things out. So Tito is a red eared slider. He is not a morph of any kind. I know there's melanistic or charcoal red eared sliders. So they're actually born like this dark. Tito is this dark because of age. Red eared sliders get darker and darker with age. So that's why he looks like this. His red markings on the side, they don't look as red. So he's an older baby, but he's still my baby. Like it doesn't matter how old he gets, he's always gonna be my baby. <laughs> And Tito lives in this section. And of course, they do get time out of here. Like, they're not in here 24-7, 365. I let them free roam a lot. So, yeah. And last but not least, I'm going to show you guys all the turtles that I have here in this setup. So, first up, we have Buddy. So, he is a red-cheeked mud turtle. And, uh... You can't even see him, <laughs> not even if I flip him upside down because like y'all see that? His shell is really cool. So he has these like hinges in his bottom shell and it lets him open and close his shell as if it were a door. So he can actually fully hide in his shell. Like most turtles can just, you know, stick their heads in their shells, but they're still quite exposed. Well, not him. He can actually fully hide in there, which makes him really impossible to video and photograph. Like he actually almost never comes out for the camera. So this is like super rare footage. <laughs> he comes out for me. You are so beautiful. Yeah. Look at you with your gorgeous face. You have a gorgeous face. Why don't you like to show it off on camera, huh? You're so gorgeous. <laughs> so this is my yellow spotted Amazon River turtle. And oh, she ran away. <laughs> so um, I love, love, love her cute little spots in her head. Like those are probably my favorite thing about her. I don't know what she is. She's too young to know what she is. So, you know, we're just kind of going with she for now. And this is her. So, you know, a quick little update on her. She's so beautiful. Just oh, look at her little legs running away. <laughs> so cute. So next up, we have my map turtle. So most of these turtles coming up, they don't have names and I don't know what they are because they're all hatchlings. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what they are. So this is my map turtle. I don't know for sure exactly what species he is because as some of you guys may or may not remember, he was a gift and I was never told exactly what he was. And to me, like a lot of species of map turtles look really similar, so. <laughs> But if I had to guess, I'd probably say this is a Wachita map turtle. So I could be wrong, you know, I don't know this turtle's exact genetics. And do you guys remember Tiny? <laughs> Here's Tiny. So her name's Tiny, but it's pronounced Tiny. <laughs> so here's Tiny. I found her in my backyard and she is Tito and Penelope's offspring. Actually, all the turtles that are coming up are. This one in particular is a runt. So this was her as a hatchling compared to a normal sized hatchling. And she's still really tiny. So this is another one. This is Tiny's sibling. <laughs> so this one has already started to shed and she had like a retained scute there, like one of her baby scutes and she was having a hard time getting those off. And this is also why I like to give my turtles a shell scrub every now and then. Like it really helps with shedding. So her little baby scute there that was being stubborn came off super easily here. So this little cutie right here and Tiny have siblings. And obviously I don't wanna show you guys bathing each one because you know, there's a few of them. So we're gonna fast forward here till after I had finished scrubbing everyone's shells and let's add them into the turtle paradise. So here's all of them that are in here. Wow, this video was really long. <laughs> so yeah, this was all my turtles, my little turtle family. And I wanna really quick add a disclaimer here. I don't collect turtles, you know, they're not objects to me, they're family. I just happen to be really passionate about them. They they fascinate me that's why I have so many but I love them all 
And unless you have the time and the space and the love for this, I don't want to inspire you guys to have a bajillion turtles, basically. <laughs> it's not always pretty, it's not always easy, okay? So yeah, I that's all I am going to say about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, then what is wrong with you? Do it. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. That way you will never ever miss any of my future videos. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Let me know down below which of my turtles was your favorite. I know, right? Like, that's a super hard to answer question. Obviously, I'm not gonna answer that because they're all my kids and I love them all equally, okay? Potato. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, you guys, I'm choking. I think a fly flew in my mouth or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye.